In this tutorial, we will learn how to edit models from SFM in Blender. The first step is to find the location of the SFM model. It's stored as an MDL file. The model will be highlighted in your browser. Um, copy the path of it. Uh, the second step is installing Blender Source Tools and Source IO. You can find Blender Source Tools through SFM Wiki, and you can find Source IO on GitHub. Place the zip files of Blender Source Tools and Source IO into a folder of your choice. I personally choose User Mod slash Plugins and install them like this. The third step is importing the model into Blender and editing out the sections that you want to import back into SFM. This is the MDL file we found in step 1. Convert to mesh to remove all rig dependencies. Delete all vertex groups and parent the mesh from the rig. Leave only the mesh sections unless you want to leave the rig that you imported from SFM. Go to edit mode and cut out the section that you want to import into SFM. Control L selects all connected vertices. Hold Shift to select multiple faces in many selections. Press P and parent the selection to create another mesh object. Set the origin point in an appropriate place. More about origin points and bones later. The fourth step is exporting a DMX of the model, since we are creating a static prop. In the Materials tab, change the texture node name to the base texture name. Change the name of the mesh to the name of the exported file. Save your .blend file in an appropriate place in your Blender Models folder for future. This is how you export the textures we loaded from SFM into PNGs. In Blender Scene Properties, navigate to Source Engine Export. If you remove the rig and vertex groups, set the weight link call threshold to zero. Set the export path to the folder we made. The fifth step is importing the model directly into SFM. Create a text file in the .qc format. You need to have Crowbar installed to make them readable. Edit the empty file with a notepad use of your choice. Copy-paste this basic .qc file setup that I wrote. I change these lines to fit the model I made. The model name path refers to the folder structure and the final name of the model. Scale is used to scale the model. Type 52 if you imported the model with source IO. Here type the name of the mesh we exported from Blender. Type the material path and remember it for later. <laughs> Most people use the same path as model name, but they just type model before the directory. Open the file in Crowbar and compile it to create a working model file in SFM.
Your model is now in SFM, but it's missing texture. The last step before our model works is copying the original texture files into the materials folder we specified in the .qc file. There are two main ways to get the textures to work. The first one is to copy the textures from the original model. We can search for them by the name that source IO imported in the base texture. To find the textures folder of a model through SFM, add override materials, show in element viewer model. This is where the textures will be stored. If you copy all the VMT files from that folder into your own folder, you will have your model finished. Remember that you must copy the textures into the folder you specified at the end of the QC file. Your model works now, but I recommend changing the paths of the VTM files to match your new folder. Now your model is finished, and now your VTF files match the VMT files folder directory. If you scale the model by 52, your size will match the size of the model closely. Your SFM flex sliders will work too. If we want to rig a static model, with many mesh elements do this. Make sure that every mesh selection is not parented to a rig and doesn't have vertex groups. Go to the scripting tab and create a new script. Paste the HooviTube Rigify script. Run the script to rig the meshes. This rig is compatible with SFM. Your model is now rigged and is ready to export to SFM as long as you increase the weight link threshold to 1. Each bone begins where the origin of the mesh begins. Press Ctrl and Dot to change the origin of a mesh bone in object mode. Uh, I programmed the autorigger to place the bones where the origin points of meshes are. You may create a bad rig if you don't think of the origin points of your meshes while creating the parts of your model. To create armature dependencies, go into edit mode and parent all the bones to the root bone, as an example. Select all bones that you want to parent to a bone, then at the end press the tip of the bone you want to parent to. The script is all yours. Write it down yourself manually so you start learning coding faster than later. This tutorial was made possible by my Patreon slash HooviTube supporters. Check out the growing playlist of SFM and Blender tutorials made by HooviTube.